Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share some words of encouragement with you all. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to be before you too long. I just wanna share a word that the Lord gave me um, yesterday, well, kind of in the evening, as I just kind of sat and talked with him. And I've given a similar word, um, you know, uh, I've given a similar word, but this one is for those, you know what, let me get into the word and then we'll just kind of talk about who it's for, okay? So I want to talk to you about a place of prominence. That's what the Lord gave me. Like I was saying, I have shared something similar, you know, um, I, I think it was breaking rank and people are being elevated. This is something like that, but he's, he, he's wanting you to be encouraged. Okay. There's some of us who have may who may have some apprehension, um, might be a little nervous about the place that he's taking us. This is that kind of message. So it's similar, but, but a little bit different. And like I was saying, some of us um, are about to step into some major roles. You know it. Um, he's already told you that. Some primary roles, okay? He's already told you that, but it's closer now. And you can sense that it's closer now. So you may be feeling some um, apprehension and things like that. You know, you may be getting some butterflies at this point. And the Lord has been confirming to you over and over again even with you trying to get away from the confirmations they're popping up everywhere because god is letting you know the time is really here you know it's at hand you are about to step into that position that he has prepared you for that he has called you to okay um no need to be afraid y'all okay we we have work to do there's no need to be afraid because god has already equipped you all the stuff that you have gone through it was not for nothing Okay, it was for naught. It was not for naught. It wasn't for nothing. All right, he is programming, well, positioning you already, equipping you. So all of that stuff that you went through, it was for you getting ready for this time, for these shoes that you are stepping into, okay? I was reading over in Joshua. That is one of my favorite books um, to read where the Lord was telling Joshua when Moses died, he said, now my servant Moses is dead. It was time for Joshua to step up. He told Joshua to be of good courage, be strong. Haven't I told you be of good courage? Okay. Because God said he'll never leave us or forsake us. Let me read it. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? Let me read to you right quick. It's on my screen. We're at Joshua one. And I believe I'm going to be reading verses one through nine. So you guys bear with me. I might be a little off camera because I probably should have my glasses on to read. But anyway, let's give it a go. Okay. Joshua one, one through nine. This is the new King James version. It says after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people to the land which I am giving to them and the children to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you, okay? All the days of your life, as I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. It says, be strong and of good courage, okay? For this people, for to this people you shall divide an inheritance, the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law, Moses, which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from you, from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have not have I not commanded you be strong, okay, and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the commission that the Lord is giving us. Yes, you're going to a primary position, a, a position of prominence, okay? And again, this is not new news to you. You already know that because God has told you, and he has confirmed it over and over again. What he wants you to know today is don't be afraid. Okay, don't be afraid. He knows that some of us have some 
apprehension and some reserve, okay? And a little bit of kind of scared, okay? Because the shoes are big, all right? We're stepping out of the place we're in, you know, to the place God has called us to be. And this is um, in the limelight for some of you, okay? You're gonna be out there in the forefront, okay? Nations are gonna hear you. You're gonna have that major platform and God is telling you not to be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid. Yes, some of you will be famous. Let's just go ahead and say that, all right? And so, um, amen, amen. And so when I was reading over in Joshua chapter three and seven, verse seven, at the top, you know how some of them have the title. It says God's commission to Joshua and commission is an instruction command or duty given to a person or group of people. Okay. We are stepping into the duty that God has commissioned us to be, that he commanded us to be okay. That he ordained before you were formed in your mother's womb. Okay. Before the foundation of the world, he called you to that place. And this is where you're going now. Joshua three, seven, the amplified version reads this. The Lord said to Joshua, this day will I begin to magnify and exalt you in the sight of all Israel so that they may know just as I was with Moses, I will also be with you. God is about to magnify you. He is about to blow you up. I did a video talking about the glow up. This is what's about to happen because God said so. Many of us didn't ask for it. We didn't call. We didn't beg God. He called us. He chose us. Okay. Because if it were up to me, background that that's where i'm gonna be at background but he's calling many to the forefront okay and he's telling you now just don't be afraid i got you i'm gonna be there for you all right that's what he promises um you are well equipped why because god equipped you he equipped you when he called you all of the things that you have gone through okay all of the tests and warfare and all of those things him taking stuff out and putting stuff in was building you up for this very moment all right that position of prominence. It is time to go to work. All right. It's time to go to work. So I just want to encourage you because the Lord said, come on here, encourage my people. Um, the ones that, and it's not for everyone. This is just for who is for, and you will know that. All right. You will know that. And so the Lord wanted me to get on here, and encourage you to let you know that he is right by your side. He has put his words in your mouth. So be encouraged. All right. You are stepping into a high place because God's called you to it. Again, I know it's a familiar um, uh, message and video. I know have done, I have done a few before my job is to get on here and do what thus saith the Lord. That's what I'm going to do. If you say, repeat, 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 I'm going to repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. I pray that you're encouraged and blessed. That is the word for today. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, let me tell you something. It is okay, A-okay. I'm so glad you're back. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you, but guess what? Jesus loves you so much more. Be encouraged. Don't be afraid. You are called and qualified to fill the shoes that God has called you to, okay? Y'all be blessed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.